Hello and welcome to my channel, I Went to Lose Gaming. Ito is about time, as the one and only Arataki Ito has finally arrived for Global. We'll be taking a look at how bonkers a Constellation Zero Arataki Ito is. Here is my Arataki Ito's build. He is at level 90 and is swinging around a Refinement 5 white blind. As we can see from his artifacts, there's a lot of room to improve, despite me having already spent 14,000 resin on this Husk of Opulent Dreams domain. Anyway, he is at Constellation 0 and his talents are at 9, 8, and 8. My Ito's charge attacks are at 61% damage potential when compared to a double crowned normal attack and burst Ito. So there is definitely a lot of room for improvement. For certain parts of this video, I will be using him with the shiny new Goro, who is also at level 90, constellation 0, and Goro's elemental skill is at level 8. Now this video is not to serve as a full guide video for Ito, but this is really just the constellation 0 showcase, as I've already made an entire video covering his best builds, nuances, and more, and the link to that will be down below. Starting off with everyone's favorite volunteer to mercilessly and endlessly torment, we have the Regisvines. Let's see how much damage Ito does without his burst. Well, I think it's to no one's surprise that his physical damage outside of his burst is a bit lacking to say the least. Now let's try this again, but with a shield from Noel for Geo Resonance and no stacks on the white blind initially. Now that's more like it. Ito was able to effortlessly bash our poor plant friend into the afterlife. But what if we gave Ito a little bit of time to gain some stacks on both the white blind as well as his superlative super strength by hitting the Regispine a bit before I knock it down. Now Ito has maximum stacks for his superlative super strength as well as maximum stacks on the white blind. Well now he managed to obliterate the Regispine even faster than before. Let's now add the ultimate defense based geo support Goro. Here we can see that Ito's damage was boosted significantly by Goro, and our poor plant friend stood even less of a chance than before. Now while bashing in the skulls of innocent sleeping giant flowers is fine and dandy, let's take this fight to something that's more in Ito's weight class. Sadly, the Primo Geo Bishop heavily resists Geo damage, and he's not really a great volunteer for today. Instead, let's pay our only actual volunteer, Masanori, a visit. Well, it looks like Masanori won't be scolding us after this fight as Ito effortlessly takes out both forms of Masanori. Now let's go smash Child's face in as well, who happens to be a multi-phased fight. Which only shield and Goro support, as we can see, Ito effortlessly bashed Child back to Shneznaya, or more accurately into his delusion form. Third form Child does highlight a bit of Ito's energy problems, as his team had to spend time to battery our favorite bad boy Oni. However, once his burst was back up, it's time for more Child abuse. And in case you're curious, on how Ito does with Zhongli and Albedo, here is a clip of these three Geo Husbandos bullying a poor local robot. It's interesting how many of 
Teyvat's world bosses like to hang out in ditches and dungeons, because otherwise they would just get mercilessly slaughtered by the people of Teyvat. While sadly for our poor robot friend, we still seek it out to destroy it simply for existing. Our robot friend is absolutely no match for Arataki Ito's epic Oni hairstyle. So the overworld is all hunky-dory and relatively trivial, but can this Constellation Zero Ito smash his way through Abyss 12? For this showcase, I will be using Ito in the second half of Abyss 12. Keep in mind that Ito is a great choice against these Geodagos, since repeatedly hitting them with Geo damage reduces their Geo resistance. Here in 1212, with Goro and the Geo Traveler, they are able to effectively battery themselves as well as Arataki Ito. And Bennett? Well, he's here to apply Pyro so I can rely on Crystallize for my shields for Geo Resonance. Unsurprisingly, Ito has no trouble even against the big doggos as he sends them into the void. 1222 is a bit scarier with three angry giant samurai puppets. However, Ito is able to cleave through them like no tomorrow, as his AoE is very large, matching the size of his rock hard giant club. While this team is far from optimal, it's able to effectively handle even one of the hardest floors we've seen in Abyss 12 yet. And last but not least, we have one of the beefiest and most agile enemies in Abyss history, the 1232 Big Rock Doggo. Level 100 Abyss 12 Big Rock Doggos have nearly 1 million hit points and are quite the endeavor to smash to bits. However, Ito makes it look easy as he smashes them back and annihilates them with his burst. Then for some reason there are two rune guards who decided to crash the party, which are always just a jolly good time. So there you go, my day one Constellation Zero Arataki Ito at 61% damage potential showcase. Ito is looking to be a really rock solid character with some very respectable geo damage. While it's too early to make any conclusions about his power level as a whole in comparison to other top tier characters, Ito feels incredibly powerful and fluid to use. There is little that's more satisfying than his epic burst animation and his giant club bonking his enemies to death. Although admittingly, at Constitution Zero, Ito does have some energy problems. As for my future plans for Ito, I will be making a DPS showdown between a Constellation Zero Ito versus Constellation Zero Xiao versus Constellation Six Noel. And I'm also going on vacation for a few days, but after I'm back, I'll work on a combo video for Ito and then a peak F2P potential Constellation Zero Ito video. And finally, after that, I'll be doing a Constellation review video and then a DPS showdown between a Constellation 6 Ito and one or two undetermined contestants. Let me know in the comments below who you'd like Ito to compete against in the final DPS showdown. And if time permits, I'll also make a Goro guide and a showcase video for Goro as well, but we'll see if I have the time for that. Also, I regularly make Genshin Impact videos ranging from C0 showcases, DPS showdowns, guide videos, and more. So be sure to smash that subscribe button as it's the best and easiest way for you to support my work. 
Also, don't forget to like the video and leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.